Hello, we meet again. At follow the best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. Let me show you this hadith. Peaceful hadith. So peaceful. This prophet, he came to call peace. Don't tell me. Don't convince me. Let me show you. Nusirtu birrab masirat shahr. Oh. Uh -huh. Now here. This is sunnah.com, right? Let me show you again. This is sunnah.com, right, sister? Right. See? The mm -hmm. link? Yes. Sunnah.com. This is Sahih Muslim. Authentic mm -hmm. Hadith. Look here what he said. Hamad ibn Abbaeh reported that I, that is what Abu Huraira reported to use to us from the Messenger of Allah. From who? Muhammad. The Messenger of Allah. Yeah. Peace be behind him. And he narrated some hadith, a hadith, one of which is that the Messenger of Allah said, I have been helped by what? Terror. In where? In the hearts of enemies. Wow. He's a peaceful prophet, sister. Why you say that? You're lying on a prophet. Astaghfirullah. I thought the reason doesn't belong to Islam at all. Let the other. Belug al maram. Umur to anu qatil al nas. Jai shway shway. Jai jai shway shway. Jai shway shway. Slowly, slowly, brother. We have a lot. We don't want to share everything now for she has a chance to do her own research. Right? So narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah, the Prophet said, I have been given five things which were not given to anyone else before me. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to do that. Allah made me Victorious by O for distance of one month journey, the earth. Let's continue till praying. Uh uh, they didn't translate. See this? Nusir to Barab? They didn't translate this. Okay. Fighting my enemies. See? Fighting my enemies. But here is lie. Look here. Hmm. Let me open it. There is lie on it. Look here. Uh huh. See this? The, uh, Google I Translate. Victorious by terror. Being victorious by ah, terror. I was victorious yeah, with that's terror. Definitely peaceful. Definitely peaceful. <laughs> yes. See? So now we will go. Now we have a one more peaceful, so peaceful verse. Hadith. He said, Umirtu an uqatil an nas. There you go. By who? Al Bukhari and Muslim. Both of them. Authentic. Mm -hmm. Messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded by Allah to fight people until they testify that there is no true God except Allah. What? Oh my gosh. So you said here, you're saying in a West countries, guys, Tawa, you're saying Islam is the peace. Grow up with the peace. The people impress Islam with the peace. How about your prophet? fight people until they testify that there is no true god except allah and that muhammad i don't know why always muhammad beside allah with allah i don't know why i didn't understand why always muhammad with allah is the messenger of allah 
and performs a lot, which means start to pray. And pay zakat, charity. If they do so, if they do, if they do, okay, they will have protection of their blood and the property from who? From who? From me, except when justified by Islam. What? You, you guys, you're saying Islam is peace. Grow up with the peace. How? Again, Muhammad said, Allah by Allah, to fight people until they testify that there is no true God except Allah. Which means I'm not believing in God. We're believing in Allah. No problem. And that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and performs a lot and pays a cat. If they do so, they will have protection of their blood, which means never analyze him, of their blood and the property would never, you know, stalling the properties and the families, females, kids, right? From me. From who? From me. Who talking here? Muhammad, messenger of Allah. I have been commanded by Allah from me, except when justified by Islam. And then account is left to Allah. Wow. Wow. I love it. Peaceful. Look, how many hadith? This is Sahih Muslim too. Same hadith. Huh? Same thing. Their blood and riches are guaranteed protection on my behalf. See? Wow. Wow. They're Sahih Muslim. Authentic. Sahih Muslim. Again, I have been commanded to fight against people as long as they do not declare that there is no God but Allah and he who professed it was guaranteed the protection of his property and life on my behalf except for the right of his rest with Allah. Wow. See? Yes, sister, go ahead. Uh, you know, I can tell that you understand now it's not smart to follow this religion uh, because uh, uh, plus once you get in, you cannot get out because right. uh, the unalive penalty on your head. Uh, so it would be so not smart if you do it. But the main problem here, there is a fiqh Islami that or a lot like in Islam, he can tell you, oh, you don't have to convert. You don't have to enter Islam. This is not a problem at all as long as you marry me because that's islamization of the womb that's mean your womb will produce for him children a uh, uh, muslim children he will so you. Mm -hmm. so the good thing is i had my tubes removed and i can't have any more kids <laughs> but i'm understanding what you're saying completely yeah so that's uh, that we suffer from this in egypt as girls uh because they're going after us specifically uh, they rape our girls and they have to, like our girls, like throw themselves from balcony and stuff uh, because of that. So um, that's why it's so important to like keep yourself away. Uh, that's what I, uh, because even if you are not about uh, children and stuff like that, he can marry more women uh, outside the government because the mosque will provide for him three more if he wants. You know, right. and you cannot stop that. And the government cannot do anything to him because there is no legal papers. But for them, it's legal right? because it's their faith. So he will have three more and he will tell the government they are my girlfriends. You cannot accuse me by anything. That's so why that's why there's no legal binding paperwork to Muslim marriage. Exactly. So he can have three more and he, he can make you you are the only legal one for a while till he have fun with you and he's ready to divorce you, you know, 
but he can have three more beside you and you cannot stop that that's insane does makes so know, much you sense. have sister does he know like uh the thing you cannot be pregnant yes okay okay but he wants to have kids through ivf okay okay so we can we can tell you a lot of stuff sister according according to islamic stuff so um that we can prove to you they can have sex outside the marriage even though they say they say they are holy people oh yeah and they he's, cannot he's said to me they, many they times are liars. That, yeah they are liars he's said to me many times that his religion allows that but he won't do that but you know i have suspicions. let me show you something beautiful sister yeah. Who is the woman? Who is the woman? Just only this. I have a lot to share about the woman, but next time. But look here. This is Islam. This is uh, uh, the link islamweb.net. I just use Google Translate for I translate for you. Now we go to the hadith. Matlab which menstruate mustrates from the eight animals right eight animals menstruation menstruate right mm -hmm. let's uh, there was part only eight two animals. yes part two page 269 uh -huh. claim there eight animals that menstruate let's see who is the animals menstruate the scholars mention it that there are eight animals that menstruate. The who? The woman. The hyena. And the bat, the rabbit, the dog, the mare, the camel, and the gecko. What what the beautiful word this? That is so what the beautiful true. word this? So this is a woman. One of eight animals. Congratulations. Oh, we ha there is nothing. There is more, but come more. Come every day, and Ahmed will For show you that. more. Well, For I that, in careful. Quran, Allah said, "Nisa ukum harthun lakum." For that, Allah in Quran, what He said. Nisa'ukum harthum lakum, fa'tu harthakum anna shi'tum. Which means, your woman, like, you know, let me give you an example. When the farm, the farm, he fixed, prepared his earth, his ground, for, you know, for next summer, can give it him more like a, 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 fr a fruit, more uh fresh right allah he gave me example the woman is my land i can do <coughs> whatever i'm free let me give the verse better let me give the verse better so I might, not, I might not be able to come back every day the only reason i was able to come today is because i'm at my friend's house Sister, if I'm with my, uh, I will advise sure. you, sister, yeah, if for I'm you with learn my more. Friends, I definitely can't yeah. attend. <laughs> okay, let me advise you one thing, sister. When we finish, go to my YouTube channel, watch my videos, check the topics, and watch it. Everything debating there, debating. All my topic is debating. I didn't talk with myself and posted the video. No. I made topic and I debate with the Muslims open public anyone who want to defend his religion explain it come on minimum video you can see it one hour debating go check it and you will see the true Islam the true Islam and who is Allah I have debating with the five scholars five scholars in English side one of them the, the the leader of Islamic Center in Washington. The leader. He crying. He challenged me. If I prove it for him. 
Allah has a leg, he will lift Islam. He's a leader. And I prove it for him from physical book in Arabic language. I have more than 300 books in home. I showed him from the physical book. You can see the video. I told him, Yalla, leave Islam. I prove it for you. And he start to cry. He's a leader of Islamic Center in Washington. And the other, and the other, and the other. You can see it a lot. A lot of debating there. Be careful, sister. Allah in Quran, He guarantees a hellfire only for the believers. Even Allah is a sinner. I will show you now. Allah in Quran, even Muhammad didn't guarantee the heaven for himself. Ask anyone, do you guarantee the heaven? No. Nobody guarantees the heaven in Islam. But in a Christianity, we guarantee it. We guarantee it 100%. In Islam, never. Even Muhammad, let me show you this verse. Let me show you this. Sister, did he talk to you about Christianity before? My boyfriend? Yeah. Um, not really. Just, just, okay. uh, just, I, I'm going to say something that, to you. He knows that I was raised that way. Let, brother, okay. let's so, read this verses and take your time, brother. Just let uh, read this verses. God bless you, Habibi. <laughs> Surah Taba 34. Okay. And we go to where? I'm looking here. 24. 25. We will start 24, 25. Say, who provides for you from the heavens and the earth? Say, Allah. And either you, either you or we are rightly guided or in evident error. <laughs> wow. What is this? What the hell, Muhammad? Come on, Muhammad. Bro, are you sure you are a prophet? <laughs> Look, either you or we are right guided or in evident error. No, 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 no. No, bro, let me read next verse. Maybe you're misunderstanding your Quran, Muhammad. Come on. You're misunderstanding Allah. Okay. Say, always when said, say, Allah talking with Muhammad to say, say, you will not be asked about our what? Misdeeds. Misdeeds? Which means he commits sin? Mm -hmm. He's a sinner? Uh-oh. How can I believe someone sinner? Say, you will not ask about our, he said our. He said not the, he didn't say your right right the content is the content very clear who talking Allah to who to Muhammad to say to who to talk with the people to tell him right say you will not be asked about our misdeeds nor we well no well we be asked about what do you do wow wow so which means let me give you example sister like two guys stealing somewhere money and one talk with the other listen don't talk, talk about me i never talk about you okay deal don't talk about me, I never talk about you. Same thing Allah do it here. So Allah is caring from who? Who will judge Allah? Who will judge Allah? Absolutely Jesus Christ. Why? Because he is sinless. Right. Because he is sinless. Who is a sinner? There you go. He proved he is a sinner. Don't convince me and tell me Muhammad is a sinner. Even if you said Muhammad is a sinner, how can I accept message from one sinner? Right. But here he said the context very clear. Say, you will not be asked. Who talking here? Allah. Allah. Allah talking to Muhammad to say, right? right. You will not be asked about our misdeeds. Wow. Yeah. 
That what? Is huh? How can I believe someone's sinner? Go ahead, brother Ronnie, if you want to say something before. Yeah, I just want to say something and yeah. I will uh, mute. Uh, sister, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be so honest with you. Okay. The road to Christ is very hard. It's not easy. One. Second of all, I believe that Look, what I want you to do, just search and get the evidence what David, he told you. And then when you have all the sources, you're going to face your boyfriend. And then um, you will see another face of your boyfriend. This is what I'm going to say. You're going to find a different person as soon as you're going to face him with the evidence you have. And probably uh, you have to decide. You will know what kind of person he is. And this is the only thing I'm going to tell you. Just be careful, be safe, yeah, I'm just a little and bit do it smartly. Do it smartly and show him the evidence one by one. And maybe you never know. Maybe he don't know his my religion. Advice, maybe by my you. My advice, uh, brother, my advice, don't talk with him. He yeah, will be I'm mad. Little, because he's working, he working about her Because he gave her the Quran. And he talk about Allah every day yes, with her. Yes, true, true. So Be save your blood, save your time, sister. Amen, uh, brother. If you don't, if, if, he, if brother Ron is done, I would, I would just like to say a couple of words. Go ahead, Bibi, go ahead, go ahead. I'm done. All right, amen. But last word, last word, brother Jason, sister, Muhammad said, however, who change his religion? No choices. Now they're looking behave after me to analyze me and go to my youtube channel you can see one living in new jersey his name muhammad he claimed to be extra christian he's a liar he's a from palestine he's a muslim right he tried to mislead the people on social media and when he see my work on social media he tricked me two times to analyze me. He offered a thousand dollars. I didn't report on him because I fear God. I said he has a kids. I don't have put him in jail. That's not good. Let him uh, treat me. Let him analyze me. No problem. Because my God teach me that. Right? I can put him in a jail today, not tomorrow. Because I have a videos in his voice and I know his name and I know his address and I know all his information in New Jersey. But I didn't report it on him. I'm in Canadian. Look, sister. I'm in Canadian. I can put him in a jail. But I didn't do why. Because I fear God. I don't want to affect him because he has a kids. So my advice, save your time. Muhammad said, however, who changed his religion, done. Done. So be careful. I am a, a man. If I enter to Islam, they have to cut the head. If I left Islam, they will cut the upper hand. Both sides, they will cut one hand. Both sides. If I enter or left. Go ahead, brother Jason. God bless you. Yeah. yeah. Here, I want to say God bless you. And um, I really love your beautiful, humble heart. Uh, you're such a humble um, uh, person, and I, 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 do I do appreciate you. I want to tell you that. Um, I also want to tell you, sister, that, um, you know, in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 7, it says, um, you know, um, it says that Jesus says that we're only allowed to marry one wife. We're not, only, we're not allowed to marry more than one wife. That's according to seven in the bible and jesus says to honor our wife right and we are one body in christ we must okay. love on her we must treat her like a queen that's what you know the lord's saying uh, straight uh, sh you know straight um, to make it short you know to to paraphrase it for you in the best way you know sister let me tell you um you know before I accepted Jesus, I was born as a Christian, but I never really knew Jesus Christ because, you know, I was living in sin and committing adultery and having multiple girlfriends. And I was called like a, what's the word I can use? I was called like a player, right? I would always lead on women and, you know, get them attached and all these things, all these stupid things that I used to do. And I never thought in my life 
that I can live without a woman, out like having sexual intercourse. Until I met Jesus Christ, sister, and he taught me that I don't need to do these things in my life. I don't need to go on dates. I don't need to do these things. And then when I read the Bible, Jesus says that what does a man profit if he gained the whole world but lost his soul? Meaning right. rejected Jesus. If we rebelled against the word of God, right? And we were stuck to the flesh. Then what, you know, what do we gain? We gain absolutely nothing because, you know, flesh uh, is hellfire. If we live in the flesh, it's hellfire because Christianity is a spiritual walk, right? It's a, we're led by the Holy Spirit, meaning that we crucify the flesh, meaning that we don't live towards the flesh. We live spiritually, you know, uh, when, we, uh, uh, when we walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, sister, that Jesus changed my whole life. I cannot tell you what he's done in my life in all glory to his name. I cannot. No matter how much I tell you, you might tell me, oh, I don't believe this guy. He's just trying to sugar, uh, sugarcoat things. But let me be honest with you. Because the Bible tells me to, uh, to be honest and I'm not allowed to lie because the Bible says that I'll be held accountable for everything that I say. That Jesus, Jesus will judge me, you know, if I lie to you or anything like that. And that is, lying is a sin according to the Bible. But let me tell you, sister, that he's so much love. He's so amazing in every way. Um, he does change hearts. He is real. I haven't seen him. I've never had any. I've never seen him in real life. But he showed me himself by changing my heart. I do know a lot of brothers and sisters that seen Jesus Christ. He came to them. Brother Ahmed, ex-Muslim, is one of them that Jesus appeared to his wife. And I believe appeared to him, if I remember on, uh, uh, from his testimony. You know, sister, what's better for you? Do you want eternal life or do you want just the flesh life? That's, that's the question that comes to you. Yeah. Do you want the eternal life or the or just the earthly life? Definitely eternal life. Amen, sister. Well, Jesus Christ guarantees us 100% that, you know, if we pick up our cross and we follow him, we listen, you know, we follow his teachings, his commands, that we are guaranteed heaven. If I die right now, I know I'm going straight to heaven. Right. I don't have to worry, you know what I mean, to say, Am I going? Is he going to let me in? No, because I gave my life to Jesus Christ. My, my life belongs to Jesus. He's my number one in everything, in my work, in my, my personal life. <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, every day, he's always number one in my life. And, you know, I tell him, you lead the way, Jesus Christ. I cannot, I don't want to lead the way because as soon as I lead the way on my own, I get lost and I start falling short. So I always tell him to lead me the way. And he promises us in the Bible that I'll send the comforter meaning the Holy Spirit that will teach you and guide you in every single way. And let me tell you, sister, believe me, believe me. He's so much love and he loves you so much. You're so special in his eyes. You know, you know, you know, you know what we are called in the Bible? A lot of different things, but what, <laughs> what are you? We are called the children of God, right. that you're right. the daughter of God and I am the son of God. In Islam... They're called the slaves of Allah. Because my almighty God, he said, I never call you slave anymore. You are my children. But in Islam, you are a slave. And the slave, Jesus said, never inherit his father, his master. But the son, he will inherit his father. The kids will inherit the father. But the slave never inherit. For that didn't guarantee the hell the heaven for you in Islam. Only Jesus, he guaranteed the heaven for you. Why? Because he raised again. He gave me proof. He is alive. He's not die. But Muhammad die. Because Muhammad, he is Allah literally. He using Allah to do dinky dinky with unlimited woman and make money to be leader. But Jesus Christ, no. He said, I am not from this world. You are not from this world. Jesus, he came to guarantee for me if I believe in him. Pick up your cross. What do you mean, Almighty God, Jesus Christ, pick up your cross? Do I have to pick up this wood in my neck? No. Pick up your cross like me now. The people looking after me to analyze me. I'm still believe 
and preaching his almighty name and never scared that meaning pick up your uh, your your cross so pick up your cross and follow him and he will guarantee for you the eternal life because he is alive muhammad when he died abu bakr came his companion he said however who will, who worshiping muhammad muhammad is die however who worshiping allah allah is alive what to the people at that time used to be worshiping muhammad to say that yes why you will say that if the people didn't worshiping muhammad at that time because the people literally worshiping muhammad because he's scared of his word he said however who worshiping muhammad muhammad is dying so now we have a sign sister i'm always asking sorry brother jason if i cut you off but i think i feel i have to talk when um jesus christ well sorry when i ask the muslims do your allah alive he will say yes i will ask do your allah has a spirit he will say no allah has not spirit what how can he is alive on battery on gas on generator how can he be alive no allah is almighty superior don't need to have spirit what why he said in hadith same in a bible why he said because muhammad stole it from the bible we create adam on our image what kind of image if not his image his nature like he is alive has a spirit he is a smart has a mind his exist has an existence that meaning is our image if not which means my body physical body like allah image you have two choices only so for that the god said let create adam on our image even muhammad in hadith which image god trinity exists I can't hear you. Perception system. I think I think reception. Can you Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I think you lost the reception or something. So um, something I wanted to add is that um I actually had the sentence said to me that if I was back, that if I was back in my country, I would have punched you in the face by now. <laughs> So, did you hurt my voice guys or I'm I'm cutting no. off? Yeah, you were gone for a while. Oh, okay. So, God bless you, sister. The God is alive. The God is a spirit. Allah is not spirit. Allah has a two right hand, five fingers, one foot and put his foot. You will see all the evidence in my YouTube channel. This picture, you see this picture? This is Allah. He's the moon God. He is the moon god. This is Allah. Always have on the base of this picture. Always. And I prove it from physical book, from authentic hadith. Allah doesn't have a spirit, but he has a body. And he will came down. He's limited on his chair. He will come down. Imagine with me, sister. Now we are as a Christian. We're praying to any direction. Doesn't matter. Right? Doesn't matter. Because the God is unlimited everywhere. God is a spirit. But how about Allah? Allah he has only one direction. Facing the black stone in Mecca. The box. And Allah he will come down. Authentic hadith. You will see it on my YouTube channel. Allah he will come down every day. A third part of the night. To lowest heaven. To ask his worshiper if needed anything. 
Uh oh. So you can't hurt me when you're sitting on his, on your throne? No, I can't hurt you. I have to step down to lowest heaven. When he stepped down, he entered to his creation. Same as Jesus, word of God, entered to the creation, to the body. God bless you, sister. After brother Jason, finish. If you allow me, pray to you, uh, pray for you. If you allow me. God bless you, sister. Go ahead, brother Jason. I'm really sorry. I apologize. I cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, brother. God bless you. I mean, uh, we always let the Holy Spirit lead. So God bless you, brother. And you said some uh, beautiful, you added some beautiful things. Amen. Um, so, yeah, sister, what I was just trying to tell you is that, you know, we do this, um, you know, we do this for um, people like you that are a little lost, um, you know, that are... Uh, you know, haven't really read the Quran and doesn't know too much. And I just want to let you know that the English Quran and the Arabic Quran is two different books. Okay? Really? Um, the Arabic is way different. Um, they are changing a lot of things, but it's okay. We have, uh, Arabic, I'm an Arabic speaker myself. And Brother Ahmad, ex-Muslim, is a, he's actually a teacher in Arabic. I mean, um, I can't keep up with his Arabic. It's probably about a thousand times better than mine. Um, so we do this for the people that are, you know, in the West that, you know, don't know what they're signing up for because, you know, Islam, you know, they make it sound so sweet and right. so beautiful. But when we open their sources, we find that it, there's so much hate and evil and analyzing and all these, you know, filthy things. Um, but I don't know if you ever read the Bible, sister. I don't know if you remember Ch uh, Matthew 5 yeah. in the Bible. I've read the Bible. Yes. Okay. Matthew 5, sister, if, if I can refresh your mind, um, you know, Jesus tells us to, you know, bless the people in his name. Like, you know, if people want to prosecute us or they hate us or they curse at us or they swear at us, you know, Jesus tells us clearly to pray for them and bless them in his name. Right. He doesn't say go and, you know, analyze in, in Jesus's name because they don't, they're not Christians. No, Jesus said that share the good news, which is the gospel. And if they don't want to listen, shake the dust off your feet and walk away. Jesus right. is telling us clearly here, right, that I will deal with them on Judgment Day. You did right. your part. You shared the truth. But let me deal with them on Judgment Day because I am God, you know, and I can make my decision what I want to do with them on Judgment Day. So there's so much. It's all like, uh, you know, the Bible, sister, you know, Jesus is all love. He's all peace yeah. and his love in Isaiah 9, 6. He is, uh, um, you know, Prophet Isaiah says that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. That we can never find peace in our heart until we, you know, accept Jesus, until we meet Jesus Christ, you know. And um, I really encourage you, my sister, because I do love you. Um, you know, I care about you. Uh, you know, the, the Lord Jesus told me to love you. And um, I really want you to do your research. Um, it would break my heart. Honestly, the honest truth, you would break my heart if I ever saw you become a Muslim just because, you know, your boyfriend uh, is Muslim and, you know, um, you know, uh, you, you embrace that culture because I want you to think about your eternal life, which is you said clearly earlier that you, you want eternal life. That's the most important thing for you. Correct? Correct. Yes. And you can find that in Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ, sister, you know, he said in the Bible that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. He also said mm -hmm. that I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, and the last. He also said that I'm going to my Father's house to prepare rooms for you, and I'm coming to take you back with me. Jesus mm -hmm. guaranteed us eternal life. He guaranteed us, you know, that we're going to live with him forever and ever. But Muhammad never guaranteed any Muslim eternal life because when his companion when uh, the companions of muhammad asked them where are you going prophet he said to them i don't know what's going to be done to me and i don't know what's going to be done to you but you know what i mean so there's a huge difference between someone not knowing where they're going and someone assuring you that i am going you know to my father's house i'm going to heaven and i'm coming to take you back with me jesus confirms right there and then and guarantees us heaven you know that we're going to live with him forever and ever now, a lot of Muslim sisters come and tell us, well, why do you guys have to follow Jesus' teachings if he already guaranteed you heaven? It doesn't work like that. The Bible is very clear. 
Whoever the, the father says in the Bible, whoever rejects the son, meaning Jesus Christ, rejects the father. So if I go, for example, and commit adultery, I go drink every night and get drunk, and I go, uh, you know, gamble and like go steal and I lie. The Bible tells me that I'm going straight to hellfire, that I'm not saved anymore. Why? Because I haven't followed, you know, what Jesus preached and what he said. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a follower of Christ. You know what I mean? I'm actually doing the devil's work. And, um, that's why, sister, it's very clear that we must have a relationship with God. And, you know, a lot of Muslims say, oh, you're religion. We're not a religion. Where does it say in the Bible that we're a religion? Uh, Christianity is a religion. It's not. Christianity is a relationship that Jesus Christ offers us a relationship, right? That we can talk to him every day. He can talk to us. He can guide us. He can help us in every single way, right? That's what Christianity is based on. We're not a religion because, you know, Jesus said that I came for the, uh, I came for the sinners, not for the righteous, that he came for the sinners. He didn't come for the, you know, the rich people and the fame people. And no, he came for us because we're all sinners. Oh. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all make mistakes every single day. Adam, Adam disobeyed God. He rebelled against God. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, that's why the original sin was spread along the whole world because of, uh, uh of Adam and Eve. So I just really want you to consider what brother Ahmad ex Muslim was telling you. I mean, God bless his heart, sister. He's been a, a, a really encouraging brother that lifts every single one of us spiritually. And I learned everything in Islam, you know, from brother Ahmad ex Muslim. I never knew how terrible this religion and scary it is. Um, I do get uh, death threats as, as well, sisters, because I expose Islam. Uh, I got a lot of messages, about four or five. Uh, you know, uh, you know, they want to analyze me and they're threatening me and all that. And that's what their book teaches. We, 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 you know, Brother Ahmed showed you, uh, in Surah 929 and Surah 95, uh, you know, that whoever doesn't believe in the Prophet, whoever, uh, doesn't believe in Allah, you know, you must, uh, take his life away. We read it clearly and it still applies till today. I mean, look what's happening in Pakistan right now. They're burning the churches. They're killing our Christian brothers and sisters because they're following their Quran. Look at Ethiopia, what's happening in Ethiopia. They're killing all our brothers and sisters, uh, you know, as well. Look what happened in Syria. Look what happened in Iraq. Look what happened in Lebanon. Look what happened in Jordan, right? They're using Quran because that's what their God, that's sorry, that's what their Allah teaches them clearly to analyze the people that don't believe in Muhammad and uh, Allah just to take their life away. I mean, is that fair? Do you find that fair, sister? No. It's not no. fair. What you know, everyone should have a choice. You know what 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 they could believe in and what should they believe in. Everyone has a free will. That's what yeah. you know a logic person would think, right? And I've been taught the complete opposite, and that's my ignorance for just believing it blindly. But I was definitely not taught any of what I learned today, so I feel very ignorant. But I mean, all you can do is learn and grow, and you know. So exactly. Don't 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 um, don't hammer yourself. Don't be mad at yourself. Uh, we all make mistakes, you know, because we have good hearts and sometimes we believe what people tell us. Right. And, you know, it's just a, it's a human mistake. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, I would brush it off. But at least now, you know, a little and brother uh, Ahmed, ex-Muslim can even show you way more stories. And I told you when he came on the, on this panel, you're going to be very shocked. Did I tell you that? Yes. Yeah, I'm very, very, very shocked. Yeah. So um, I just want to say, sister, uh, God bless you. Um, and one more thing I want I wanted you to know as well, because Muslims try to hide this as well. And Brother David, I guess he was going to save it for the next time. But my heart, um, you know, this is on my heart. And I, I believe I should tell you, if you saw a 54 year old man marrying a six year old little girl, what would you call him? A pedophile. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, the prophet of Islam, Muhammad, he was 54 and he married Aisha at six and then had sex with her when she was nine. Yeah, that's 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 because Allah teach him that in Quran system, everything you can find it in Quran the reference. So not just only Muhammad, he did that from his side. No, because Allah is said. In chapter 65, 
verse 4. Memorize this. When you go now, go to the Quran X, Quran X dot com and open chapter 65, uh, verse 4 and read the verse and those not ministered yet those who have not ministered yet and go to the tafsir first to tafsir when you click on tafsir you will see the page when you click on the tafsir he will tell you literally because it's too young and i posted video about this point which means allah allowed the muslim man he marry babies babies imagine with me not just only children no even one year allah allow me to marry her in quran for that muhammad used verse to sleep with aisha when she was nine years old imagine with me 54 years 54 years sleep with nine years it's pdf file but sister i don't believe in consciousness uh con what we call consciousness i don't believe that i believe the, yes i believe the god yes coincidence i believe the god he sent you here i do too i believe that i believe the god he found a way for you to go out to visit your friend to see my video my live stream for you see the truth i believe that because he guided me when i was atheist i have no idea about nothing about islam uh, christianity nothing but islam i know it better than i know my kids trust me i know muhammad better than i know my five kids i know muhammad and i know his religion but christianity zero knowledge about it the god he guide me from uh, be atheist to himself and he did a lot of miracles with me i believe he that he do it because he said in the bible he gave everybody free will he said he waiting on your heart door and he is knocking the door if you open the door he will enter he never entered to your life without permission never because he is almighty finally you will go bow down front of him finally at the end in the day of judgment for that he gave you free will and he gave to everybody free will don't worry he said i will throw all your sin in the deepest deepest sea and never memorize it again which means i never condemn you again like you never commit any sin just come just repent and he gave me example about the uh, hundred sheep one of them misleaded and uh, honor he walked behind him he left 99 till he bring back the one sheep right so he gave me a lot of uh, a lot of example in the bible so now just sister don't need to feel bad don't need to anything just come back to his come back to guarantee your eternal life and just care about you that's it i didn't get any benefit from you sorry about that sister but because i love you in christ you are my sister i don't want you to be perish in a hellfire Thank you. allah guarantee the hellfire for everybody because he's a sinner because he's a devil in chapter 19 verse 83 he proved he's a devil he's a devil chapter 41 verse 25 he proved he's a devil a lot of verses only he is one true living god jesus christ otherwise done so now if you allow me sister to pray for you in my language because still you know in religion my language is a poor in religion but otherwise uh, my my language is good chatting blah 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 but in religion because needed to practicing right 
if you allow me to pray for you, I will pray in my language because my God, He understands all languages. Not like Allah. Allah, He understanding only Arabic. You can see all the Muslim around the world praying in Arabic only. Supposed to be praying in Arabic language. Why? Allah is not God? No. Allah is a culture. Culture of Arab. Religion of culture. This is not religion for all human beings. This is culture of Arab. Allah understanding only Arabic language. For that they are praying only in Arabic language. That's it. But my God, He understands all languages. For that, I will pray in my language. And if a brother Jason, you want to pray, God bless him. Guys, brother and sister, if you join with me, this pray. And I believe, because God, He said in the Bible, however two or three pray in my name, I will be between him. I will pray in, in, in Arabic and the Holy Spirit. He understand all languages. Amin, Ya Rab. Ashkurak ilahna al-Quddus. Ashkurak ilahna al-Salih. Ashkurak, Ya Rab. Ashkurak ala mahabtak al-Azim, Ya Rab. Ya Rab, ana u'min anna ka hayi tasma' wa tastajib ilahna al-Salih. Shukran, Ya Alak, ala kull amal amaltu, Ya Rab, li ajlina nahnu al-Khutat al-Ghir mustahakin ilahna al-Quddus. Shukran, la tawada'ak, Ya Rab. Shukran, ala kull amal amaltu ala al-Salib li ajlina ghir al-Mustahakin, Ya Rab. Shukran, ilak ilahna al-Quddus. Ala rahamtak, ala mahabtak, ala ata'ak, Ya Rab. شكرا لك إلى نصالح لأنك هديتني ومن خلالي تهدي الآخرين أشكرك يا رب وأعظمك أعطيك كل المجد يا رب أنت قل تعالوا إلي جميع المتعبين وثقيلي الأحمال وأنا أريحكم يا رب الآن اجتمعنا باسمك القدوس من أجل أختنا يا رب أنت بتعرف اسمها لنا أنت بتعرف شو هي يا رب الآن أصلي باسمك القدوس من أجل يا رب تعال الآن يا روح الله لمس الآن لمس التحرير من كل قرينة من كل روح شر من كل فكرة شريرة الآن يا رب خرجها يا رب أحميها يا رب يا رب افتح عقلها وذهنها لتدرك الحق لأنك أنت هو الإله الحق تعال الآن يا روح الله تعال الآن يا رب فيض بروحك علينا يا رب الآن يا رب باسم الرب يسوع المسيح أصلي أمين أبانا الذي في السماوات لتقدس اسمك ليأتي ملكوك لتكن مشيئتك كما في السماوات كذلك على الأرض خبزنا كفافنا عطينا اليوم ولا تدخلنا في لا تجربة ولكن نجنا بنا الشرير لأن لك المجد والقوة إلى الأبد آمين آمين Go on brother Jesus Amen brother Amen Hallelujah Amen God is good Thank you Lord Jesus Amen uh, Brothers and sisters if you can please uh, join me with, uh, in prayer the Bible says that if we're two or more, uh, you know, we are a church together. So let's pray for our sister um, together. Lord God, we thank you for this uh, beautiful, fruitful life, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for speaking through every single one of us. And everything we do, Lord God, is to glorify you and only you, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for your mercy and for your love and the peace that you put in our hearts every single day, and the love that dwells in us every single day. We thank you, Lord God, for you're such an amazing God, that you're always with us, because you tell us, Lord God, in the Bible, that Jesus says that he is with us to the end of ages, and we thank you, Lord God. Lord God, we deserve hellfire. We all deserve hellfire, but because of your grace and your mercy, that you, you sent your one and only begotten Son, Jesus Christ that laid down his life on the cross for every single one of us. And we thank you, Lord God, because we don't deserve what you've done for us, Lord God. Lord God, Lord God, I pray for my sister Leah. I pray, Lord God, that Jesus Christ washes her with his precious blood and dwells in her and takes her, you know, away from any satanic or demonic religion or any human being her boyfriend, or anyone that is around her trying to deceive her, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that everything is possible in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that there's only light in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We pray for our sister Leah, Lord God, that um, you, you show her a sign, or, or you touch her somehow, uh, or you come to her in a dream, Lord God, because you tell us in the Bible that ask, knock on the door, and the door will be open, Lord God. 
And we, we, we truly believe that, Lord God, just as I came humble to you and I knocked on the door and the door was answered, Lord God, and we thank you for your, your love and your peace and grace and everything. Lord God, I pray for all my Muslim friends that are living in darkness. And as you see, Lord God, they're attacking us in this chat. They were cussing and swearing as Brother David was praying. Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, I ask from the, my, from, the, from the bottom of my heart that you forgive them, Lord, because they obviously don't know what they're doing. I, I, I ask from the bottom of my heart, Lord God, that you forgive them for, you know, cussing and threatening us. And as Brother David was glorifying you, they were cussing in Arabic language. I ask, Lord God, from the bottom of my heart that you forgive them, Lord God. Lord God, I pray for all the people around the world that don't have any food or water or anyone that is going through any depression or, or they're lost or they, they don't have food or water, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you, 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 you provide to them and you heal them, the people that are sick and going through troubles in life, Lord God. Lord God, I glorify you. I lift the name above all names, the name that no name compares to, the most holy name of names, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you, Habibi Jason, God bless you. God bless you, my sister, my lovely sister. And then uh, I just advise you, sister, just to pray and tell him, my father, I came back to you. My father, protect me from the devils because the devils now, wow, is hurt, is hurt. They will try, sister, with you. A lot of Muslim Dawah, you can see on command. We never block him. You can see him disrespecting, insulting, mocking, laughing when we pray. But we love him for that. We didn't block him. For the her, the truth of God. For the knowing the truth. Maybe the opening the eye. But sister, I just advise you, sister, save your spirit because the body this body is nothing we will change this body we will take spiritual body this body is nothing but save your spirit from the hellfire came back to your father and your father he waiting on your heart door just allow him tell him my father come back to me and you will see all your life will be changed. Trust me, sister. And don't allow to anybody mislead you anymore. Anymore. They will try. They will try to using sugar word, trying to using Allah because a snake. Because the wolf he came in a form of shape. It's a snake. They using, you know. Uh, like uh, make himself is so cute, so nice, respectful, and twisting, 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 twisting the meaning, the word, just to mislead you, to mislead other brother. Yesterday, sister, I recorded something so funny. One sister from United States joined us with some Dawa guy. She's 60, 66 years old. They mislead her. She don't know anything about Islam. All they do, he told her, Allah is almighty, Allah is greater, Allah, 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 they didn't use anything, mislead her, and finally he told her, he scared her, save yourself, save yourself from hellfire, and take your shahada, take your shahada, gone, she take it, her shahada, become a Muslim, what? If someone, if now I said, I, I bear witness, there is no God but Jesus Christ, and there is no apostle, only Paul, then I be Christian? Absolutely not. My my pastor didn't baptize me after I studied the gospel, the Bible, one year in Middle East, in Lebanon. I studied the Bible one year, sister. Tell the pastor, baptize me. In Islam, no. So cheap. Just take uh, your shahada done. You become a Muslim. Don't need to study. Everything will come after, will come after. Just worship Allah. See, this religion is so cheap. And the blood of Jesus Christ, 
so high. He's paying the blood for you and for everybody. God bless you, sister. And I hope if you have Discord or if you have Telegram, I have my Discord is Sniper Foxes without the space. And my Telegram, same as my name here, Ahmed X Muslim. If you have, have a chance one. in the future. Yeah, I don't have either one. I have Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and... Okay, TikTok. my Facebook, same my name here. Oh, do you know what? I will post, I will give you the link of my Facebook on a private. For if you have any question in the future. I'm ready, okay. sister, anytime. Thank you. Um, God bless you, sister. Bit. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> no problem, sister. We pray for you, and we, we believe our God. He will, you know, He will give you peace because He's Lord of Peace. Thank you. You are very welcome, sister. And don't forget to go to watch the videos every day. Watch one or two videos, and you will be warrior. I guarantee for you, you will come back and you will open live stream and you will start smash Allah and Quran. <laughs> I guarantee for you because I have a lot of brother and sister after they learning the true Islam, they opening live stream too. And they're talking about Islam because feeling hard, they deceive him. Last one, the smaller brother, he's 18 years old. His name Amir. He smashed all the Dawa guys today on TikTok. He came to Christ last week in my live stream also. Ten days ago, he came to Christ. And he has a five days, six days, he destroyed him. Amir. So I guarantee for you, sister, at least you will protect yourself for didn't mislead you anymore in the future. Let's see, we have Victoria. Come on, Sister Victoria. Hello, hello, sister. Hello, which language are you speaking? Sister, sorry, we miss We can't understand you. We can't understand you, I'm sorry. Speak English or Arabic, please. I'm sorry I muted you because we can't understand your language. Forgive me. You have two languages, I understand it. English and Arabic very well. Better than English, I understand Arabic. So choose one of them, sister. Please, with all respect, I will uh, invite you to unmute yourself, but please, Arabic or English, with all respect, go ahead. Come on, Odisho. Odisho, Kadisho. Kadisho in Arabic means how much? Kadish. Come on, Kadish. I accept you, brother. I also just want to thank you guys so much for your time and your um, information. It's a pleasure, sister. God, God bless you, you, sister. You are very welcome. Yeah, just my advice for you, sister, don't accept any strange messages. They will try to play with you, the Tawa guys, because they see you now in my live stream. Yeah, there's, they're feeling there's, hurt. They're hurt now. There's been a lot of people who try to message me. Yes, be careful, sister, to mislead you again. God bless you, sister. What, Victoria? Um, shalom or salam. Peace. Shalom, salam, sister. Uh, sister uh, I missed the first Which time. language? Huh? 
Which, which language you speak earlier? Somali. Oh, sorry about that. I miss uh, because I we didn't understand. You're thinking you curse us or you insult <laughs> us. <laughs> or, or you doing? Uh, yeah, you curse in an Islamic language because always Allah and Quran you cursing the people. So insulting Christian and Jewish in Quran, he said the Christian and Jewish like a pig, like a dog like a donkey like a monkey stinky dirty always allah cursing the christian and jewish in quran for that <laughs> i'm confused god bless you brother how are you doing god bless you brother you see that Amen. that's what that's my testimony habibi you know, I used to go to mosque. I used to love, oh my goodness, I used to love mosque. So, one thing I came to realize about Muslims when I was growing up, till I, till my teenage years, these Imams, they all talk, especially Friday khutbah, they, all they talk about is, you know, like cursing Christians after they, after the someone finish the khutbah, they start cursing the Jewish and the Christians. So I was wondering why this Allah, is allowing people to cast others, other, others be, just because they have a different faith, you know? Why is he so hateful, Allah, that he does he doesn't like them? And and is is this not his creation? So so and if he want them to to uh, 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 you know like to, to them. anything to happen to them or he want to get rid of them, why don't you do it himself? Why do you have to tell your people, the, your followers, to cast them? And hate them, you know. So those are the kind of things, you know, that came into my yeah. That you know, those are the you know thoughts that was that was coming to my mind. I was growing up, you know, loving Islam, loving Allah that I had never seen or you know feel anything about him and Muhammad. But the most weirdest thing is this hate, you know. See, and then why will Allah allow, you know, um, his, his followers to hate other people and? And to my to my thinking, what kind of God is this? You know, why would He allow this? And I never ever ever saw or read a Bible. You know, so different. You know, when God talks about brother, God, sorry to interrupt. Are you are you an ex-Muslim? Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 continue, amen. brother. Continue. Tell us. Tell us what brought yeah. you to Jesus Christ. What what opened your eyes? And you wanted to uh, to follow Jesus Christ, brother. Go ahead. Would so, love to listen so to that's, it. Amen, that's... brother. Go ahead. The mic is free for you. Take your time. Go ahead, brother. Tell us your testimony. God bless you. So my testimony is a bit longer, but I'll do the best I can. You know. So so I grew up. You know, like uh like every other child. You know, like a family, devoted family. You know, who are so much. You know, into the religion and the faith. You know, and uh, I remember. My, my grandfather, you know, taking us to Duxi, you know, Duxi is where madrasa. you, is a, is a madrasa, but you only memorize the Quran. That's it. No translation. So and those are, Arab speaking. so, and I don't understand the, the Arabic language, you know, and they don't teach us the meaning of, of these verses. So we just memorize. So, and then uh, after, after Duxi, memorization of the Quran, we go to straight to the masjid. So that was a routine, you know, so we go to Salah. So. So as I grew up, you know, listening to this khutbah, you know, and, and a lot of, you know, um, uh, preachings, there's one thing I came to pay attention, you know, that, oh, sorry. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Sorry, family. Well, we're gonna be, right yeah, while we were um, on the road, that's when, because whenever you're on, I don't want to miss it. So you guys continue and then we'll be right when back. We, we're just ordering something quick. So quick, go ahead. quick, quick.